Please subscribe. Please subscribe. Please subscribe. Please subscribe. Please subscribe. Please subscribe. Dots and toys. 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 Like and subscribe. Well, I now the analysis. <laughs>
syempre sa mga marites, baka mamaya sabihin, ah, umalis yan because ayoko na sa dialysis. And I had an argument. Maybe I'm pagod or so on and so forth, right? So, just to clear things up, I didn't relinquish being a dialysis nurse because, because of something trivial. I would say right now that J48, where I'm working as a dialysis, I would say the team is great. The teamwork is okay. The staff, the staff are okay. Uh, I don't have any infightings with them. I don't have any arguments with them. I had a great time for a year and a half with them. And yes, I'm only I'm only a year and a half as a dialysis nurse here in UK. But I've been I've been a dialysis nurse for quite some time now, like all of my nursing career. Yeah, true. <laughs> I just want to pursue something else. It's not random because I have my plan, which I'm gonna share later on. I just want to clear things up. I didn't left because of stress. Dialysis job is great. By the way, hello guys in J48. To those who, who's gonna watch my vlog, thank you so much and hopefully you will watch it even though I'm not part of the team anymore. I'm still gonna do bank shift there for sure. Shepren for the money. <laughs> so that's the second question. Let's go to the third. Why Neuro ICU? So, by the way, guys, I'm working. At, I'm gonna work as an ICU nurse in neurological department or neurological side of ICU. So the question is, why not cardiac? Why not general? I don't see any problem where I start with, even though I don't have any option to choose from when it was offered to me. Um, I just, it didn't even occur to me to choose anything. It's just that I really want to work as an ICU. I want to get that experience, which is um, critical care experience. I want to get that aside from the A&E. By the way, A&E is an emergency department nurse. It's just that the UK made it A and E, which is Accident and Emergency Department. So yeah, I'm an A and E nurse as well. I'm doing back there for a year now, and not just there. I'm gonna share some other bank shifts I've done for this past one and a half year career here in the UK. I'm gonna share it later on. I'm just building. I'm building up my portfolio for my chosen goal which i think having a critical care experience would really benefit me would really push my portfolio into achieving that certain goal so if i do that i think it would be helpful and of course it's a learning experience i would love to learn being an icu nurse icu nurse in as an agency work gives lots of money as well but aside from money i really want to have the experience of it maybe a year or maybe a year and a half yeah and of course even though i'm in neurological icu i could still do bank shift in cardiac icu or general icu in a way i would learn how to be a cardiac icu right so it doesn't matter for me where i start as long as i'm an icu nurse that is totally fine okay so that's just me Let's go to the next question. Is it easy transitioning from wherever you are into an ICU? Or in my case, is it easy from renal nurse or dialysis nurse into an ICU? Let's go first to how I managed to get to that um, department. It just so happened that one day, let's just say one day, I was just browsing the job vacancies because in NHS, there's a staff intranet website wherein you can check also the um, job vacancies internally or externally. So I just so happened I checked it and I saw that there's opening for clinical care outreach team. So I'm really curious about it. I just read the job description but I didn't apply for it. I just emailed the there's gonna be a matron or a nurse in charge or the one who's handling the job opening. I just emailed that person told her that this is my I'm eyeing to be an ICU nurse I'm eyeing to be a clinical outreach nurse and um, because I want to pursue this kind of path I want to achieve this I want to learn this and this is what I'm trying to to pursue in career wise so I just open up 
what my plan is. I was not hoping for any reply within a week, but I got a reply after a day or two, and they replied in a positive way wherein they really, it's just that they're, they're happy to forward me into the team where they handle the recruitment. They welcomed me, which I'm surprised and I was happy for it. And that's how the um, process goes. It's just a random email and then I just query and they offered me the job. They offered me Neuro ICU, which I, as I've said, I didn't even think that there's going to be a cardiac or general ICU. As long as I'm in ICU, I'm fine with it. Um, they offered me Neuro and they invited me for a meet and greet. They, we had a conversation there with a the clinical nurse. Uh, clinical nurse? Yeah, yung naka-violet, yung naka basta. Clinical nurse? <laughs> I, I forgot, ano ba tawag sa mga nurse na yan? Naka-violet, uh, basta yun. Put, iput ko na lang sa details. <laughs> Nalimutan ko. Nagustuhan ko naman. Uh, and then I decided, yeah, I'm gonna take the job. So, the transition is smooth. I just informed my general, my line manager about my decision and she's happy. She doesn't have any problem. But sometimes there's gonna be a problem with staffing. So, that depends. For me, we do have less staff but since it's something that they cannot hold you against so yeah sooner or later you will get the job even if there's a um, staff shortage in your current department so yeah so I, I'm gonna start with September 4 as I've said and it all started by June so that's my time timeline so I started June maybe last week of June and then July June July August yeah so uh, September that's what happened to me I wouldn't say that you should do that same thing that I did but who knows right you can do that you can just go through the normal process it's up to you guys I'm just sharing what I've been to so next one what motivated me of course what's the motivation right even though it's a random thing that happened to me or it's a random decision there's something that motivated me it's gonna be there's a certain pe- person let's just say that shady pers- person to <laughs> kung sino pa yung shady person siya pa yung nagmotivate sa akin well I just saw something na I can do if he or she can do it why not me so that made me think that I think I can do this kind of thing I think I can pursue something else. I think I could pursue more. So that's the triggering factor or that's what motivated me to do this. Wala naman mangyayaring masama eh. Well, pera naman mawawala dun. Pero I think I could do it. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Yeah. And yes, guys. I'm doing master's degree starting September 4. Siba? Sabay-sabay sila. Kaya natin yan. Pinoy eh. Charot. <laughs> so yeah. So that's what motivated me. Ito ang pinaka marites na question. Ano bang ini-aim ko? What am I aiming for? For now, I won't reveal what I'm aiming for because I baka kasi maudlot. Alam mo naman tayo mga Pinoy. But let's just put it like this. I'm aiming for something beyond band 6. Yun na lang. So it's up to you. Kung ano yun, mali mo, band 6 lang din. I'm just aiming for something beyond that. I have a plan for it. How will I get it? Hopefully that plan works. But alam mo naman kung yung mga plano hindi natutupan. But mali mo, what if? If I do this time, I really want to do something aside from my work right now. I'm really keen to achieve it so I think that's gonna be uh, um, you know positive it's gonna be positive I think I, I don't, if you want to achieve something you can just you should pursue it right um, kahit ano pa sabihin nila right you, sh- you can pers- if you think you can do it do it right sabi nga let's do it <laughs> Nike I just do it pala yun. <laughs> So yeah, I won't reveal it for now, okay? So maybe sooner, yeah, sooner I will. If I could see that there's gonna be a positive changes 
so i think that would be it that would be the vlog it's a really short one i don't want to make it longer i hope that it helped in a way to those nurses or people who are planning to pursue something else i know there are capable nurses or capable person who can, who can do it ako nga hindi naman ako ganun ka i'm not an intelligent person or knowledgeable person but i, I was able to come here in uk i'm not really entirely um magpatas ang grades but i manage i took the exams i passed the exams multiple exams not just ang dami ko na exam pinagdaanan but i'm here hindi ko pa choices yan it's just that I don't have any choice but now I decided to pursue something I don't think I wouldn't get it so yeah that's my advice or my last message I hope you enjoyed this vlog and again don't forget to subscribe guys click nyo na rin yung bell button please <laughs> okay guys good night good morning or good afternoon wherever you are bye bye